Hi Stampers, I'm Rose Grunewald from Country Cards by Rose and I'm here today in my stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin to show you how to make this gorgeous card of encouragement using our Abstract Impressions Bundle. Let's get started right away. This super pretty card features some very vanilla cardstock, the gorgeous Abstract Impressions Bundle, um, we're going to use the stamp set for the inside of the card, but what we're using on the outside is this beautiful butterfly die. I love the dies in this set. And we're also going to be using some of that really pretty foil paper from Celebration. The Grapefruit Grove is the color I chose. You also could choose to use the lovely lipstick. It's a free item with a $50 purchase while supplies last. And for this adorable, amazing die, we're using the Celebrate You Thinlets. So I'm starting with a piece of Whisper White Thick card base. This is cut five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. I always like to score my thick card stock because I get a nice crisp edge then when I fold it and I find it's easier um, to do that with this thicker card stock if you score it first. I've already pre-cut the butterfly from the Grapefruit Grove foil paper and I've already pre-embossed with my lovely floral embossing folder on a piece of very vanilla that is one eighth of an inch smaller than our card base front. I will list all the dimensions for this card in my blog, so make sure you check it out for the specifics. To do this die cut, I ran it through my Big Shot by lining it up to the outside edge of my layer. So that's a little tip for you. Now, I need to also cut the die that says amazing. And to do this, I'm gonna use these permanent adhesive sheets. I wanna show you how these work. So I'm gonna take you through this step by step. I've got a scrap of basic black here. And what I'm gonna do is trim a strip of these adhesive sheets to the width of my scrap. I just wanna double check, make sure which side we need to, yes, this will work just fine. So I'm just gonna kinda of hold that on here and just trim this off. I can use this for another piece later, so I'll set that aside. This stuff is so easy to use. You just peel the back off, stick it down, and then you're ready to put it through your big shot. make our sandwich first. I'm gonna go this way. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to run this through our big shot. I like to run it through a couple times just to make sure I get a nice crisp cut and I don't have any problems taking it out of the die. That pops out nice and easy. Then you can either use your Big Shot die brush or a paper piecing tool to poke this out. Now right now we still have a solid paper on the back of this die. 
Okay. We can actually start assembling our card right away. I like to use liquid glue when I am adhering sheets that are embossed. I get a nice, good, sticky adhesive that way. And then I don't have any problems with my layer lifting up. So I'm just gluing that down on the card base. And then for a little bit of added color, oh, you can hear my dogs in the background, sorry about that. I'm gonna do some marker spritzing across the card front. And I'm doing this marker spritzing in Grapefruit Grove and Basic Black. Now I already put one of those adhesive sheets on the back of my butterfly here. So I'm just going to lift off the back like so, just like a sticker. And then I've got a sticky back to this and I'm going to place it on my card front. I've got a little tail of the butterfly, uh, a little piece of the butterfly wing sticking out here. And all I'm going to do is just trim that off. And next I can do the same thing with our other die cut. And I will stick this down on my butterfly. All right, now with my Labeler Alphabet stamp set, I already assembled the words you are, and I'm gonna stamp that on a scrap of Grapefruit Grove cardstock. Oops, my A came undone here. And then I'm just going to snip around the outside of these words. Okay, now all that's left to do is pop these up on dimensionals and add a few finishing touches using my mini dimensionals. I really don't want those to go anywhere, so I'm going to stick one at each end here. I like to stick down the word R first so I can place. This one doesn't want to come off. There we go. Okay. You are amazing. And for finishing touch, I like to come in with some adhesive back sequins.
And then I also use the adhesive backed um, twinkle, I think they're called twinkle sequins. And the outside of our card is done. That was quick and easy. And now we just have to stamp the inside. So I'm using the sentiment from the Abstract Impressions set. There's so much to love about you. Stamp that in the center. And then also in that set, is some stamps to make a little butterfly. And we'll stamp the wings in Grapefruit Grove. And we are finished. What do you think, beautiful? Thank you so much for stopping by to check out my video today. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to see what I've made, and I hope I've inspired you. I've got all the dimensions for this card, links to purchase products from my store and my blog, and also in the comments below on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to my channel while you're here, and subscribe to my blog while you're there. Also, I do go live on Facebook every Wednesday evening, so make sure you like my Facebook page so you don't miss a thing. Thanks again. I hope you have a great day.